Hi, broadside end fire and binomial array antennas presented by Dr. Srinivasu from St. Peter's Engineering College. So, driven arrays, broadside antenna. What is the broadside array or antenna? A broadside array is a stacked collinear antenna consisting of half wave dipoles spaced from one another by one half wavelength. This antenna produces a highly directional radiation pattern that is broadside or perpendicular to the plane of the array. So this type of arrays, so this type of broadside antenna arrays are generates high radiation pattern. Why? Because, so this is the array. Array means more number of antennas are connected in series. That is called array. So whenever antennas, output dipoles are increased, automatically the gain will also increase. That means the radiation pattern will also increase. So that will happen in broadside antenna arrays. Next, the broadside antenna is bidirectional in radiation, but the radiation pattern has a very narrow beam width and high gain. That's the great advantage of the broadside antenna array. So the radiation is generated bidirectional. So that will happen in broadside antenna array. Next to broadside array, bidirectional array uses dipoles fed in phase and separated by one by two wavelength. Broadside arrays may also be formed from other types of elements such as horns, slots, ellipses and polyrods. Radiation pattern for arrays depends on the type of the individual elements, their orientation, their position in space, the amplitude and phase of the current feeding them, the total number of elements. Broadside array, beam steering by phase variation is possible. Here, different uh, uh, of a dipoles are there. Here, in this diagram, lambda by two. So here also lambda by two. Here, transmitter, here, here, transmitter. So lambda by two is the wavelength of the of a dipole antenna. Here, collinear or broadside comparison. This is the diagram. Next, broadside array antenna. So, in this broadside array antenna, additional sections are there. So, this is lambda by 4. So, this width, the length is lambda by 2. So, here to here. So, here to here, the width, is, the length is lambda by 4. Driven arrays, end fire antenna. The end fire array uses two half wave dipoles face one half wavelength apart. The end fire array has a bidirectional bi radiation pattern but with the narrower beam width and lower gain. The radiation is on the plane of the driving elements. All of you know what are the driving elements. So here driving elements and active elements are there. So, driven elements means reflectors and directors are called the driven elements. So, the type of elements are used in n fire antenna. A highly unidirectional antenna can be created by careful selection of the optimal number of elements with the appropriately related spacing. n fire array similarly to broadside array except dipoles are fed 180 degrees out of phase. Radiation maximum of the ends, end for arrays, higher directivity, provide increased directivity in elevation under azimuth plans. So here, it will, end for arrays are provide the high directivity. So the end for arrays are used in aircraft Aeroplane, aircraft, space wave, like that. Generally used for the reception. 
impedance mass difficulty in high power transmission variants are horizontal array of dipoles rca fishbone antenna series phase array here in n fer array one of wavelength here to here one of length so this is another of wavelength the another of wavelength here the another dipoles so this is the balanced field line so this is the maximum radiation of the n fer array n fer array so here one of a dipole antenna from here to here the wavelength is lambda by 2 from here to here lambda by 2 so this is the bidirectional antenna array this is the unidirectional antenna array binomial array antenna binomial array is an array of non uniform amplitudes here non uniform amplitudes means in a binomial array, antenna, different antennas are consisting. Amplitudes are different, but the spacing of the amp antennas is equal. So one antenna to another antenna, distance is the same, but amplitudes are different. That is a binomial array. And the amplitude of the radiating source are re arranged according to the coefficient of successive thermodynamic binomial series. And hence the name a plus b whole power of n minus one equal to a to the power of n minus one plus n minus one divided by one factorial a to the power of n minus two b plus n minus one into n minus two by two factorial a to the power of n minus three b square plus so on. Where n is the number of radiating source sources in the array. So that means number of radiating sources means number of antennas. Source one source 2, source 3, source 4. So whenever increasing the, the antennas or sources, automatically the gain will be increased. The spacing is same between the antennas, but the amplitudes are different. So whenever increasing the antennas, automatically the gain will be increased. So that is the great advantage of the antenna arrays. Array means cascading. Array means sequencing of antennas. Source 1, source 2, source 3, source 4. Like that, you are connected in a series. So then only the gain will be increased. In the antenna wave propagation terminology, we are using the array. But in electron device circuit, you are using the cascading. Cascading. Cascade means number of single stage, two stage, three stage, four stage. Whenever increasing the stages, automatic gain will be increased. Like that, in the antenna wave propagation, in a binomial array, so whenever increasing the antennas, automatically the gain will be increased. That is the great advantage of the array antenna. Array antenna or antenna array. Both are same, but names are different. Array, sometimes it is called array antenna. Sometimes it's called the antenna array. So these two are same, but names are different. Advantage to reduce the secondary loops, to optimize them. As we increase the array length, the directivity increases, and the side loops are appear. So that means whenever increasing the arrays, automatically directivity power directivity will increase. That means the radiation will be increased. That means the signal strength will be increased. So when it will be possible, whenever increasing the antennas. Okay. Next, to pattern multiplication. Multiplication pattern is a total field pattern of an array of non-isotropic but similar sources. Non isotropic. Isotropic, non isotropic. Isotropic means isotropic antenna is always generates a power equal in all directions. But here, non isotropic means the antennas amplitudes are different. So that's why non isotropic antennas. 
so whenever multiplied one to source one source two source three multiplied automatically the gain will also increase next it is the multiplication of the inverted source pattern and the pattern of an array of isotropic point sources each located at the base center of inverted sources having the relative amplitude and phase t the total phase pattern is the addition of the phase pattern of the individual source and that of the array of isotropic point sources principle the total field pattern of an array of non isotropic but similar sources is the product of the individual source and the array pattern of isotropic point sources each located at the face center of the individual source and the array pattern of isotropic point sources each located at the face center of the individual sources having the same amplitude and phase thank you for watching this video